Hey, Kitsi here and today I'm going to show you what is new in CZ49. Um, apologies for this video being a little late. I recorded it on time, but then I saw that the audio wasn't recorded because microphones and yet here we are. Also apologies for the neighbor who decided to take drilling from a hobby to drilling as a profession. And now all they do, especially when I record, is make sure they're going to drill. So really sorry if you can hear that. Um, let's jump into the version. So I can show you what do we have. Um, we focus mostly on bug fixes and improvements. And when I say that, like I really mean it. So I'm going to show you in the Fungerzione change log. If I scroll to the bottom, which the bottom sometimes doesn't load, probably because we have too many changes. Uh, we have a lot of improvements, a lot of bug fixes. So we tried to polish some things in the app that we neglected for so long. And that's why we focused mostly on bug fixes and improvements. However, we also decided to bring you some features as always and let's start with the first one responsive toolbar we heard your complaints about the toolbar being too cluttered you have too many icons even though you can click any icon and disable it i don't know if you know about that one or you can click customize toolbar and you can disable any button align mode view mode literally everything in the toolbar can be disabled in any case even if you have if you decide to have a lot of icons in the toolbar now when you drag it, uh, I'm dragging the um, I'm dragging the wrong thing. So maybe it's gonna be better to drag to first resize the window and then start dragging. So now if I start dragging, you will see that the icons will animate into the second row. So basically the toolbar is responsive now. And even if you have a small screen, you'll still be able to see all the icons. My advice would be to disable the icons that you don't need, the plugins that you don't need, and declutter your toolbar as much as you can. Um, all right. First, we have that. Speaking of decluttering the toolbar, we merged some of the things that were called plugins previously. And every plugin that had something to do with a simulation, it's now moved into a pop up called simulations. So if I go in simulations, uh, you will see everything that was previously a separate plugin, which means we removed six icons from the plugins row. And now all of them are in simulations. And now here you can do things like you can simulate uh, pointer, touch, online offline slow 3g fast 3g everything that you could do through the plugins you can do it here if your website supports like dark light auto um, you can change the color scheme and show hide the software keyboard um, you can change the language on all the devices and so on and so forth uh, so all the options remain so if i switch uh, let me go for example to facebook.com because for CZ we don't have japanese and now i'm simulating japanese language but what i i can still go in one device and just change the locale here to be, for example, Arabic. And now this will be Arabic and I will change this one into Italian. And the global setting is still Japanese, but we have Arabic here, Italian here, which means when I go in the simulations pop up, it will tell me here that it's Japanese, but two devices have overridden this setting and you can click to reset them to default. So now all the devices will go to the default setting, which is Japanese. If you want to go back to the default language, um, you can just click here and now all of them are going to go to the default language so for all for all of these things let me just show one more like in the network manager i can make this one to go offline and um i think you need to refresh yeah after changing the network speed you need to refresh that's intentional and now here in the simulations you're going to see the network is online but it's overridden by one by one device so when you click you're going to remove that and basically that works for all of the simulations here um all right next up we have we added one more icon to the toolbar so basically some things that were in debug styles let me just go to cz.co some things that we had in debug styles are now moved in a pop-up called performance because they actually have to do with performance in the app so here in debug styles we have things like outlining the elements debugging the z index and um, disabling the styles and so on and so forth but the things that concern performance are now moved here for a couple of reasons first of all when you turn on one of them, you will see a yellow icon here to remind you that you disabled something. Because so many times I, I was getting frustrated with an animation and then I realized that I forgot to disable animations. Um, I forgot to enable animations in CZ. So now if you do that, for example, I have disabled animations for this website, I will get a yellow dot to remind me that I have one, uh, one of these toggles on. So we put this in a performance pop-up because actually um, we have a performance article. If you go to cz.co slash performance, you'll find that article. I'll put it in the description also. This animation might seem harmless, but running it on a couple of devices at once will actually take a lot of CPU, a lot of GPU because the web platform is weird. So when you're working in multiple devices, you would want to go here in performance 
and turn this disable animations to on so now the animation i mean only if you want to work on it you can enable it work on maybe on one device but you don't need to see it on all devices at once and same thing for example for videos you don't want so for example we have some videos here we don't want on all, all of these videos playing at once because that's actually gonna also take a lot of um, cpu and a lot of ram so instead of playing the videos you can replace them with a placeholder by clicking hide videos and now there's just a placeholder we're gonna iterate on this performance pop-up so we're gonna add more options so for example you can see the animations and the videos but only on one device not on all of them and you can enable and you can disable all of them by clicking on these buttons and you will see the yellow dot to remind you that hey you have something disabled that's why your code might not work so those are the new things the new pop-ups um, next up we have a new butler command called navigate to element so previously we um, we have this navigate to element plugin and you could type in a selector like i could type in pricing here the page is going to go to pricing and now I, I i have this green icon here which indicates that this is on so if i refresh the page or if i add new devices they're they're always going to scroll to pricing but now you can also do that through butler Control shift p on windows command shift p on on um on mac os and also Control shift p on uh, linux so i can just search um, first of all let me clear this selector so i'm gonna go here clear the selector and here i'm gonna go navigate to element and i'm gonna type in features so i'm gonna type in this css selector and now all devices are gonna navigate to that ele element so i can do navigate again so i can scroll a little bit and maybe i'll be like you know what i want to navigate again so i'm just gonna go navigate to element and navigate to features again or i can do navigate and i can say to pricing let's see so all of them are gonna go um, to pricing so all the actions that you could do with the plugin here you can now do them to butler you can say navigate you can clear the current selector and so on which is pretty nifty if you're a keyboard user you don't have to click around you can just quickly navigate all devices to a css selector and also one new thing here is previously uh, this would navigate only once now it will actually navigate to the next thing to the next selector until it finds the last selector it doesn't cycle uh, from the beginning i mean you can also do this with the page navigator plugin you can navigate to previous sections and next sections and i need to reload the page properly in order for that to work so let me show you um oh, i guess i have to scroll all of them up we desperately need to add a button for scroll all devices up and down um we're gonna add that at some point so if i refresh here and i navigate to i use the page navigator plugin now i can jump through sections and all of them are going to navigate to the same section but if you want to navigate to a specific selector that's not section h1 h2 h3 and so on and so forth uh, you can just use the navigate to element plugin and i i can type in section here and now this will go to the next one and to the next one and to the next one it's not you're not going to only be stuck on one so that's another change um, we added an onboarding wizard which is only for the new users so if you want i can show you um well i cannot i cannot reset the onboarding wizard here so no i cannot show you but if you're a new user you will enjoy the onboarding wizard that we added so previously people were just thrown into cz now they're going to be gradually guided through every step as i said we have a lot of bug fixes and a lot of improvements and a lot of changes which i'm not going to go through you can just find a change log somewhere in the description um we also released one hotfix and i think there was one important thing that i had to mention there so i'm gonna jump to the latest change log for the hotfix and um yeah so if you jump into photo mode uh, now we don't reload the devices you can just jump to photo mode quickly take a snap and jump out of photo mode the devices are gonna stay so if you find a section that you want to screenshot and a section that you want to screenshot off like this one your the device is not going to reload you're just jump going to jump into photo studio and in photo studio you can then just take a picture of all of these devices so that's one change that we added um we fixed a bunch of things on linux the menu bar was broken on a, on a bunch of linux distros so now that's fine and video recording was broken so that works now i don't know why i'm reading the bugs to you i thought i had something bigger um video gets stuck on saving recording console filter scroll well I, I i don't think that we have anything significant i think that's it well that's great uh we're working hard on cz version 50 and we're changing some some things um in our release cycle in our release process for a while we might be focused uh, we added way too many features we added way too many things so we're gonna need some time to measure uh and we're gonna need some time to fix things especially big issues that we had like performance like performance is part like 
your problem, the user's problem, but it's also our problem to describe and to guide you through the performance issues that you might have when using a responsive um, browser for responsive design and you're looking at multiple devices at once. So we're going to try our best to make the app as performant as possible and we're going to try our best to educate you about when you're doing something wrong in the app that might affect performance. So we might be focused on that. Um, in any case, CZ50 will come out um, this Monday. And yeah, I will see you with the update video. Thank you for watching. If you like these update videos, make sure to subscribe. Soon I'm starting to record the CZ tutorials and you're going to get a bunch of new uploads on this channel. And looking forward to that. See you in the next one. Bye.